Hello, I'm Andrew Lissing. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. As Mexico, okay, uh, we are facing down Europe at the moment and also South America. South America is a little bit more on the back burner, particularly because for some reason we don't have S priority. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, however, in Europe, we managed to make some good headway. We're now onto another cycle of uh, resting and uh, reinforcing our armies, but other than that, we're doing pretty well. Okay, you can stop all the attacks you're doing right now. They're not going anywhere. This front, on the other hand, has been pretty stationary for quite a while. So, read into that what you want, but I don't think that we're going to be able to punch through there anytime soon. In fact, have they reinforced this with more... No, still only two bunkers. We've got like ten in some places. Only a couple of places, but we have, you know, gone ahead and built them because... Uh, I kind of thought that that was going to be uh, one of the places that probably was going to be moving for the time being, and uh, you know what? I think that was a good call there. Right, if I see infrastructure, infrastructure's getting repaired. Might not be priority one, but it's certainly a high priority. As for air bases, I honestly don't have anything to put in them right now. Considering last episode we used up, um, what, like 6,000 fighters in total or something? I used up, I mean, got shot down. And let's just get some land forts. Shifting a lot more forces back over here. Okay. They've built a lot of forts around here in general. Paris again is a 10, so Paris is going to be hard to take. They've got lots of 1s and some places even 3s around. Right. Water research. High level bombing. Sure. Bomber defense plus 20%. Not really a massive thing, but I'll take it. Uh, I don't care about that. I know at war, I don't want to care about that. But sure. I know there are unread naval battles, unread convoy battles, air wings of no mission. Get rid of you. Actually, I kind of wanted to know about the rest of the air wings of no mission, but whatever. Um, available planes in reserve, don't need to know about that. Low manpower, I already know about that. Resistance occupation, I know about that. Large ships low on strength. Sure, I don't want to know about that either. Okay, there we go. That's all tidy. Attack you here. Caps the line a little bit. Makes it neater. And I'm all for it being neater. What if we can do it here? Yeah, if we can. That'll cut them off here, and we will give us a river to defend on. Hey, kitty. Hello, meow. Do you want to come watch uh, the civilized world fall before us, so that we can make it more civilized and great? Someone has to make it great. Again. It's damn well going to be us. Hello, Luftwaffe. Some really tight formation flying they're doing there. They're choosing to attack us in Lille, which has 10 forts, so sure, that's going to work. Also, they've completely given up on having planes over here. We could, like, nuke Munich with impunity. Right. We're going to attack in two places here and try and punch through to Munich. Got to be cautious about the manpower, but for now, it worked. I did not expect that, but uh, it worked.
Come on. Keep pushing through. And if we can do that, we can encircle them. Now it's Italy and Yugoslavia up for bids. Okay, let's just destroy you. Oh. Being halted. But they've run out of attrition. Yes! I don't think we're going to win this one. Try. But I doubt it's going to be successful. Come on. There we go. Keep going. We just need to... Switzerland is no longer neutral, are they? Yeah. So we'd have to go all the way through. In fact, I was thinking we could uh, lock them against Switzerland, but it's going to be much bigger in circle than I was planning, so maybe not as important now. How are we doing? Good. They're shifting a lot of forces around to take advantage of uh, our repositioning, but it, it's not getting them anywhere. There go. Addition of a tank is really pushing that for us. Done. Right. Still looking for places where we can hit them and actually succeed. Here. They'll always take the opportunity to get back Frankfurt if I'm not careful. Four hundred K in troops. Sure. Right, Luxembourg. Are you fascist yet? No. Uh I guess we'll start researching tier two carriers. It's 1951, so we should be learning about ICBMs by now. Right, I'm trying to think what we can do with this. In there. Still crazy amounts up there. How much should we stop piling in terms of fighters? Specifically jet fighters. A thousand. Way not enough. We need 17 times that to even think. I hate doing it, but it's going to have to be a ground war for France. I just... It's not something we have the manpower for, but it's the only thing we can do. Research into things that I don't really care about, I guess. Um, I'm trying to think of something we can hit over here. I guess we'll go for Salzburg, maybe? Here, I kind of want to push through, but not going to happen. Honestly, taking France offline is the main thing. If we can take France offline, we're good. Right, uh, we need to upgrade. Our close air support. 
All right, close that support, 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 close that support. Where are you, close that support? There you are. Naval bomber, don't need as many of you. Get strategic bomber, don't need as many of you. Carrier fighter, don't need as many of you. Okay, how are we doing? Yeah, they're winning that fight. I'm gonna push for Salzburg. Winning up here, winning up here. That's what matters. Come on. 9900. Okay, right. Done. Now, are they repositioning in a way that we can take advantage of? Yes. I think we can probably push through there. We keep them pegged there for the moment. Actually, we can win that fight. Okay, sure. We'll try this. All right, we'll try and attack on Stuttgart then. I'm not sure it's going to work, but we'll try it. Because we can. Also, I should probably make a new tank variant. Considering I have uh, so much land experience. Right, armoured vehicles, modern tank. Uh, if I go any higher with the gun, it nukes our speed. And I don't want to nuke our speed. I can increase the reliability to 108%. You know what, let's just have a 100% reliability tank. Isn't that what everyone wants in life? Uh, the rest is like modern artillery and tanks and the. I think we're good. Right, well, since you attacked me here, I'm just going to hit you back. We've got Stuttgart. I wonder. This is, could be an encirclement. It'd be a difficult encirclement. But let's try and pull it off. Meanwhile, right. Tax not doing so well, but we are getting in here. Ninety, ninety-two, ninety-three. Oh no! Oh no! They're, they're trying to. They're trying to bail. We did it. We encircled them. Oh no! 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 Oh damn it! They fought back. gonna get out. God damn it. Well timed from them there. Cheeky sods. <sighs> we'll try and turn that flank but I don't think we'll be able to. Right, we're actually close enough that we might be able to think about breaking into France. The issue is the Maginot line. If we're going to get through Maginot Line, we can do it in one punch. And we're not one punch man. It's not going to be an easy task. Uh, where's Jetfighter? 2k. 
Like I said, still need to, you know, times it by almost 10. Right. I need you all in this one place. Because I'm going to ask a very, very silly thing of you. I need you to go, 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 go like crazy. Just punch through. Drive them before you and keep going. Hopefully they'll just think it's an, uh, just another attack and they won't, you know, do anything too drastic to try and defend against it. As soon as we get rolling, we need to keep this momentum up. Uh, 88, iffy. That one got repulsed. Come on, 91. Right, there we go. We need to keep going through, and we need to get through, and we need to get past, like, into Mole House. If they defend it... Oh, 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 oh! Right, yes, go there. And you attack. Don't let them get into... Oh, one... Come on. We need to actively attack into Mole House quickly before they defend it. And they're already defending it. That said, we can go for Switzerland. It isn't defended. We're going a little bit out on a limb here. We could be surrounded. So I'm being cautious. We have got a part of the Maginot line now, though. And that's what I wanted. That's going to be our anchor. Right, France. How are you doing? 10% national unity. Really? 10%? That seems awfully low. Okay. Cool, we'll take advantage of that. We'll just need to grab a few towns and stuff. The ones up here aren't really worth very much, though. Anywhere we can take advantage of this terrible, terrible tragedy and planning that is their line and punch through, make something of it. Yeah, there's way too many people for that. Let's consider that, sadly. Yeah, no, definitely no way you're getting through a 10, like, bunker blockade. Come on. The attrition a lot of their units are taking is breathtaking, though. Which is really helping us. We might be able to actually take Italy. They just transfer their units there, though. I mean, by take, I mean nuke. They just transfer their fighters there, though, and we wouldn't be able to. That's worth considering. We need a break through the Maginot line. Really, the ideal way to do that is Switzerland, but they've actually got quite a few units in Switzerland. It's, you know, frustrating. Imagine a line of pain. Which is, you know, historically accurate. They've got so many numbers. Right. 
If I told you to do all your attacks, would you be able to? Whoa, what is this? Oh my god, this is like... Christmas has come early. They just left the, the side open. Sure. You know what? I'll have that. Uh, is, is it like a bait to maybe draw troops away from this flank? If, if so, hell, I'll do it. It's worth it. Paris before they can defend it. I don't have any mobile like units up here though, so unlikely. Hold them at bay. France capitulated. Yes. That is that is massive. Right, let's. You know, dear God, I'm going to just move that. That is terrible. Uh, right, front line. There we go. There we go. I'm not sure why they want separate front lines here. Can I like, edit that? I cannot. Oh, it's Luxembourg. Ah, right. Okay, uh, yeah, most units need to be up here. Um, like 20 down here. I don't think we'll need much more than 20. And then anyone who's nearby goes to these ones. So, like, we need maybe more than five here. Eight for now. I can anticipate they'll just join up with the other ones. If you can punch through. Is this a 10? It is a 10. It's a Magino line. That's not going to happen then. Um, do, 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 do. What else? You. Honestly, just crush that. You. Crush that. This is, this is amazing. Seriously, this is just absolutely great for us. Question is what happened to all their fighters? Well, there's certainly 6,000 down there in Rome. We only need to beat Yugoslav in Rome now. And then we're good. Yugoslavia and Rome. We can do this. We have the nukes. Then we can force a win and we can have all of their land. The rest of the world will be, you know, easy. But, uh,. That's it for this episode. If you enjoyed, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. I have no idea what France did there. But moving those units away gave it to us. If we can just slip in there. I don't, don't think we actually took Paris, did we? I think we got close to Paris and they were just like, yep, peace, because 10%. Uh, yeah. That's so good. I was really worried we wouldn't do that. Anyway, I've been able to see like, subscribe, hit the little bell notification to be actually notified of videos. And of course, stay shiny.